Hi, I'm Sabrina, and I just finished the Chingu Voyage 8 cohort with my team. And we were the Gecko team number four. Um, and we were tier two, but our app ended up being tier three, I think, more um, because of the massive skills on my team. I, they're awesome. So there were four of us, and this is Carlos. And he is our back end guy. He did, he knows Elixir, the, la the language Elixir well, and he knows um, the Phoenix framework for it. And he is the PostgreSQL database for, and this is what, this was vital to making our app robust. Okay. And my next team member, this is Susanna, and this is actually a very good likeness of her. So that's what I have. But she was very important because I don't know if I could have managed as project manager without her. I was the project manager, but she was the advising project manager because she actually, unlike me, she actually has work experience being a project manager. So, and she also was responsible. She knows React, but she was more leaning. Um, she she helped uh, so much with um, the CSS, which takes me a thousand years. To, to do myself. Um, she, she helped so much with the CSS and made our app responsive and is still working on making it friendly to screen readers. This is Ying. And without her, we would not have an app because she figured out, she knows a lot about React and she learned React hooks, um, the most common ones. I learned that too, but she, she was right in there the whole time with React hooks and routing um, global variables in React, um, everything. She even learned um, unit testing in Jest and snapshots even, like which we all kind of wanted to learn, but she's the one who actually did it. Um, uh, this is me, and as you can see, <laughs> and I don't like that my GitHub's half empty. Okay, um, we, our app, we first made our MVP and decided on our stack, which is mostly React and Phoenix and Elixir. Um, I have some PHP in there to communicate with, uh, like that I use to mass post all our videos to the database. Um, and we used Axios for, uh, I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, for um, our API work with YouTube. Um, we used a Trello board like this and we have our team resources to do when stuff is going to be done we move it to priority and put a date on it and then move it to today today sometimes we have to move things back and we've actually i've kept the done column all the stuff because we it's very rewarding to see that we did all this okay we also our github flow is to keep master only for production. And that is shown on a Netafly, um, is it pronounced that, Netafly, um, account where Carlos actually got us a domain. We actually found the .com, guess the language .com. Okay, and we use the development branch to push our changes that have, and have pull requests and then those when someone reviews and accepts them that they go into development, but we each make our own branches. Um, the method is actually on the Chengu website and it works really well. Um, let's see here. Hmm. We talk a lot in Discord. We were very active every day and we had meetings religiously like once a week um, on uh, Hangouts. Um, now this is our app, the main, the star attraction here, and it looks simple, but it, it was tricky. Like I, indeed our first, uh, our first, our MVP, we had that working within two weeks, but it was just a uh, front end. And we, we took advantage of local storage to have a back end until Carlos finished the real back end. Um, which is much better. Anyway, so here's our app. And what you do is you start playing. 
and you get what guess what languages is and you can see that you can't tell and then you press it to play and I have to guess the language here um, and I got it right so and then it goes next you click next and then you wait for your internet connection to catch up okay oh i got it right again it's surprising if anyone passes this game because you have to it's very difficult to know there's 400 plus world languages in here we got from the public domain uh produced by wiki tongues so let's say if i were let me just rush through this but they're randomly chosen and only one is correct and it keeps score. And then at the end, see, I, I actually passed somehow, um, but it shows your total score. And in, in local storage still, it keeps your, your history of your, your scores. And then you could play again. Um, it's simple. It, it's simple. And we had it, it, uh, oopsie. Okay, we had it going um, very early on, but now it's very robust, and there are no signs of what the language is. But what took us a long time was, let me see. Okay, where are these? Too many windows open. I, okay. What took a long time is, well, um, well, first, during the time, the initial part, both um, Ying and me um, learned a lot about React hooks, the most common ones. Um, meanwhile, Susanna, Susanna was trying to make our CSS buttons look nice, and I was busy ruining that by putting in Bootstrap, so which which uh, doesn't play nicely with polite hand-coded CSS. Um, while all this was going on, Carlos faced challenges of his own, mainly because so certain people are really demanding. Oh, um, that might, I don't know, it might have been me, but um, interrupting him all the time and his hard work. He came up with the database model all by, his, by himself and built an API in Elixir that my JavaScript and PHP could talk to the database through. So it was no small feat. I was at, I admit I was worried about it because none of us knew, no one else knew how to do it, but he pulled through and it is awesome. Um, so we use that. We have a robust database now instead of a, the flaky lo local storage. Um, it's like a black box now closed as tightly as a pickle jar um we had a serious problem we ran into and that was that we were at first using the youtube api to pull the videos from wiki tongues channel public domain again and when we found that when you hovered over the video in our app and at the beginning of the app the thumbnail that they chose shows the language so you know, you can't really, it ruins the game because you know what the language is right away. So I thought I was being cunning and covered up the top of the YouTube video with CSS because YouTube doesn't let you hide that stuff. So I tried to hide it myself and I was, I thought I was all smart and powerful succeeding in that. But then on mobile devices, it still showed. And, and when you hovered over it and, and paused it, it still showed. So we we talked about that and we all four of us carlos susanna ying and myself we all took 25 percent each roughly of each of over 400 videos downloaded them from youtube with a tool that Car that carlos found and we re-uploaded them to our own channel with a generic anyway um we, so we solved that problem, but it was a lot of work. And then I used my, P, I wrote a little PHP script to send them to the database. Okay, so I ended up running out of time. Apparently I talk a lot, though I don't see, I've been told that, but I don't see it. Um, okay, 
now let's see okay well I, I wrote a PHP script just a little thing to get all of the um, videos the list of videos that that uh, Ying and Susanna had compiled into an Excel file and to post them to Carlos's database endpoints like he wrote his own API for Phoenix um, for us to talk to um, after that victory, Susanna, Ying, and myself um, converted the API calls to YouTube and to YouTube and the use of local. Uh, why did I write like this? Like, who writes like that? What a mess. Okay, after that victory, what we had to go in and change all the API calls to use uh, and the local storage to use the database instead and the Phoenix endpoints. So we got a little pressed for time because at two weeks we were confidently feeling pretty confident that we were almost done, but some, you know, roadblocks came up. Okay, and so magically all at this point, at the end of the voyage, it's almost almost complete but you can still so there's still some things we want to work to improve like i said carlos got the domain name the dot com which i which really tickled me that it was available to guess the language.com and okay for me my admin area is not it, it works but it's it's not completely it's not updating the list yet let me see here Wait, let's, I didn't even show you guys that. Okay. I made this. And it lists all the languages. This, I, you could click these, but they don't sort properly yet. So I have to work on that. But I can add a video. And it, and Carlos has it checking completely whether it's a valid YouTube ID. Um, See, I could submit it. I'm waiting for. All right, I did something wrong here. Why is it always like this when you when someone's listening? You're trying to show someone something, and things act weird. Oh my gosh! See, I entered a valid you um, YouTube ID. So let's make another one. I know what they're supposed to look like. Okay. There, there we go. Victory. Okay, so I made that and it'll be in this list if I find another language and upload it to our YouTube channel. Um, I also can save one. Like if I change this and I don't wanna do it, but if I save it, um, it will change. I can edit the language if I mess that up. Um, I could delete it, but let's not. But I could delete it, and it has alert boxes for those two still, um, and console logs, so I have to finish that. Anyway, that's what I was up to at, just at the end here. Well, um, okay, yeah, well, uh, I already said what my friends were doing. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. Susanna is making everything screen reader friendly. It was very important to her that everything was very accessible and responsive. And, you know, our design isn't very fancy, but it, she made really beautiful buttons and it works on, as far as I've seen, it works on all different screen sizes. Well, um, Okay, since then, Susanna has done that, and Ying has had multiple job interviews already. Um, someone is going to be lucky to hire her, um, but she's, she's really busy with that. And Carlos, like I'm looking up jobs for myself I want to apply to, and they're all, they all want some person to know Elixir really well, which is his specialty. Um, Anyway, I just wanted to add, because I haven't talked enough already, that, okay, listen, if you feel, if you, when you're in these, if you do these voyages, they're quite a few weeks, and it seems 
like a long time but it goes by pretty fast especially if obstacles pop up and I know I'm making this video longer but I really longer than I ought to but I, that's what I do um, but I really want to say like if you join a, a voyage it, it's really worth it really worth it to stick it out and be active and try to engage with the people on your team um, you, you know everybody's all different and sometimes it gets hard but if you stick with it it's so rewarding at the end like if you feel um like i wrote some of this down because it was important how like based on my own feelings and stuff if you feel you get in over your head making an app or making a pro app even um it might even be your first time remember like we're all learning here it it starts to feel like you're actually doing a paid job to me and but you're all learning and it's supposed to be fun I think it's supposed to be fun. You make friends. I loved getting to know other developers um, instead of, you know, competing with them or some, I don't know, having, you know, some of them can be really stuck up, I find. If you if you go to Stack Overall, you'll see what I mean. But, um, but it made some really great people. It's really worth it. And you're, you're there to gain skills, not just show what that use the skills you have but learn them better or learn new skills and i that is important um uh, if you join a voyage trust me it's an amazing experience as i said the feeling of competence and success at the end that you feel even if your app is not perfect even if it's not you don't finish you made something it, um if you've done like if you've worked on it the whole time like our app could do some work it i think we all learned and gained real like real experience we could apply to different you know different jobs um like i apply for you know all different levels of even senior sometimes though i don't think i'm ready for that but intermediate and i feel that this really helps my resume um i learned how to it's different from tutorials they're great for getting started but it's nothing like this where you're working with re real people on real something real and encountering um, real obstacles and problems um, let's see like even okay like even the test the advanced level um, you know the advanced JavaScript tutorials and online they're good but they are as soon, you know often like I'll do that and look at go to program something after I've learned it and I'm looking at this blank file and I don't know what to do but I understood it during the video with this with Ch with Chingu or a real experience like this you remember what you did like usually from making a ton well for me anyway making a ton of mistakes and doing a bunch of stupid things and saying a bunch of stupid things um i'm gonna remember the stupid things i did or the mistakes and maybe won't make them as often as i would have otherwise um so like i learned a lot about react hooks um i learned more in the voyage this is my first voyage and i think it was all four of us our first voyage and i personally i learned more in the in the last eight weeks about react and interacting with other technologies than what i'm familiar with and work with other people than i ever learned in a year before that um working freelance and on in university and everything um it's very valuable um as a project manager like i'm used i work in small teams before but this oh your project manager and that was i felt it makes you feel it, like it's not where you're the boss it's where you're trying to keep everything together and organized is what it felt like to me and i had help anyway uh i went on for a very long time so I don't know if it's too long or not, but I wanted to tell you everything about what it was like. Um, and I left a bunch of fun parts and stressful parts out even, but I, I loved this experience. So it's hard not to keep talking about it anyway, but my dinner is almost ready. My son made and okay. I just wanted to say, cause I got cut off cause I'm not very good at making videos. Um, thanks 
to anyone who took the time to watch um, my video, because I, I know it's a bit long, but I really wanted to, any anyone who is thinking about taking a voyage and wants to know what the, or, or has already had one and wants to see what the experience is like, I thought that I, I want to go into details and about my experience and my team and everything and how how good voyage should go. Um, I, I did say I have dinner and again, but I want to say thank you to Carlos in Panama. Um, he, the man is a genius and someone is going to be lucky to hire him. Um, Susanna for her cool head and experience. Um, she's very experienced in, in, um, culture and working with people and keeping things organized and Ying for her persistence and speed and accuracy um, when she makes something and me for making it difficult for everybody <laughs> um, but I, I hope that you might like my video and our app is is not too it's kind of fun I think people will find it immensely frustrating like other games because it's really hard to know the language. Um, but thank you to Chingu for this opportunity. I hope I'll be in other future voyages and they can, and it will be a dream come true if they go as well as this one did. Thank you so much. How do I turn it off?